share is as deep as the sea No matter how rough things may come to be You and me, we're family Sing ho, hey, long for the ride Ho, hey, I'll stay by your side Ho, hey, you'll always be Five o'clock in the morning, um, and we're anchored just off Santa Ponza. And the music you can hear in the background is from the stage in the festival, and it is so loud. I can't believe how loud it is. I don't know how anybody's sleeping tonight at this anchorage. So, we wanted to go and find out what all the music was about in um, Santa Ponza Bay. So while we're waiting for our water pump and the battery charger, we decided to go ashore and check it out. Okay, so basically they're celebrating the conquer conquering of the Moors in 1229 by King Juame I. This is um, still the medieval festival that's been going on all this week and they've got a market here with loads of um, stuff from the medieval times but also kind of crafts and things of people from different countries around the Balearics. So for two pieces of cake, it was 18 euros. It's a little bit beyond our budget there, and um, so we decided to not get that, and um, we'll save our money and save our figures. <laughs> so the kids here are playing chess. Who's winning? Dad. Well, whose pieces, who's got those pieces over there? What's that ale like, Sarah Woody? That's natural ale. Is it nice? Does it suit your tastes? There was lots going on all week. And even a phone party for the kids one day. joining in later. Hey, 
Okay, so we've just come um, into Palmer again for the day. Uh, we've got the bus up to the top near the station and found a brilliant kids' play park. Like the play park, it was it had like at least 12 passengers in. But yeah, I want to live here. I like the park because massive, like the size of a big house or like a mini mansion. Um, and I hope the um, I hope the cafe has um, loads of yummy stuff like cupcakes and donuts. So as we're walking through Palmer, we notice lots of small shops selling local, colourful produce. And we didn't actually notice many large chain stores, which was quite nice, really. Palmer Cathedral was built, well it started building in 1229 but it wasn't finished until 1601. We went for a day in Palmer, um, so we've just been having a look around the cathedral, we've had a lovely paella with sangria. Um, the other thing that's nice is there's a lot of festivals going on at the moment for Los Cristianos I think it's called. Uh, it's a celebration of Spain being freed from the, the uh, occupation of the Moors. But, it's just good seeing the kids kind of walk around and see all these new things and their reaction to new things and even if it isn't to do with Spain or other festivals sometimes it's just like street artist or a busker or something like that and it's uh, this kind of seems to be opening up the kids world and it's really nice to watch. Um, those two girls there are being are like um, drawn but exaggerated parts of their body. Yeah generally I think we were all really impressed with the city of Palmer it's a really beautiful city. At the moment we've got no water pump, which means we can't use the immersion heater either. Every day we've got to fill the solar shower, pump 20 litres into here, leave the solar shower on deck so we can have a shower. The other alternative is taking a drinks water bottle like that and just chucking it over your head. The shower and just it it's quite refreshing there. actually, isn't it? It is, yeah, wait till we've got a morning. All the luxuries of water pumps, eh? Hey? We've reordered one and it's, how much is it going to cost now? About 750 euros. 750 euros, so yeah, a little bit more than we thought. It's kind of helping us preserve water as well. And electricity, because we're and not electricity. using our um, water pump yeah. or bilge pump, we're saving all round. So we're saving water and electricity, uh, but we are a lot smellier. We are still in Santa Ponza because we are waiting for a new water pump that we ordered. The battery charger, that's due to come back. It's supposed to arrive today, but um, they're saying tomorrow now, mañana. So the plan is today is to go and use the uh, pool. There's a place called the watering hole. So we're all like, we've got all our towels and our shampoo and our combs and um, clean underwear. And uh, we're all going to go and like have a swim and get nice and clean and um, hopefully the water pump will arrive in a few days. So we spent two weeks trying to get hold of an equivalent pump which I'd ordered from Palmer. We kind of narrowed it down to this one which was 650 euros. So now what we've got to do is uh, try and fit it. Done it so it's taken about three hours to sort that out we've got water and I can have a shower we've just spent about another 500 euros getting the battery charger sorted out so that's been back to the UK and then I think it's been sent to Poland or something and then it's been sent back to the UK and then it's been sent back out here obviously there's been the courier charges as well so it's been an expensive week the serial number is completely different so we've got a brand new charger for the uh, price of a repair
It's pretty good customer service. Well done, Master Vault. The battery is charging really quickly, and um, nothing's blown up. No wires have burnt, and Woody has done it. One good thing about having new equipment is that it brings new toys. So the kids, yeah, they're very resourceful and they like all the packaging that comes with new equipment. It's another school day and I am doing math. Finding the gradient of y equals mx at c. On Fridays, we don't do normal schooling, we do boat schooling. We do so we do stuff like girl. learning of the knots, phonetic alphabet, navigating, passage planning, and there's different things on different Fridays, and everyone always looks forward to Fridays. I have been doing this. I'll show you, like, you make a loop. You get a piece of rope and you do that. You have to make sure it goes really close. To like that. The wax melting and then it'll stay on. And what does it look like when you've done it all? This. Let's have a look. And what you, is that one that you did? So then we did a hands on science lesson. And this is a model of his walking beast and we're using that to learn about cogs and gears and wind power. Just by wind. Powered just by wind, that's right. If you get a chance you should really try and look at some stuff on the internet about the original full-size strand beast. They really are quite remarkable. Yay, got it in. This one comes up, the other one goes down. I just snapped these all off there. It's only made by a crankshaft and a few cogs. We're at the Jungle Park in Mallorca and we thought that the kids have been doing so much good schooling they've come to this beautiful woods and um, it's a bit like the treetops adventure thing in UK. So they've done it a couple of times, but this is a little bit different and quite fun. Clip on, clip off is like clipping onto a jack stay on a boat. When you're on a zip wire like this, you have to clip on like that, and that goes across there. And also they're always swinging from the rigging. We've got a special line that goes to the top of the mast that they can just swing on, as you've probably seen in some of the other videos. So they're all doing this and having a really good time. It's really good to watch them. No bayanas. Level five, level six. Number seven, 
too young. about this place I reckon we should ask the kids really what they reckon it was the best it's it's amazing like but and um, but one of you it goes really quickly the day my favorite one was this zip wire and it was really fun it went really really fast Yeah, the Balearic Islands seem to bring a lot of storms later on in the season. So I suppose with all the lightning storms, we start thinking about where we're going to shelter for the winter. Repair job seems to be done, another one crops up. So I've just fixed the battery, just fixed the uh, water pump, and now the autopilot's gone down for no apparent reason. Um, Are you sick of it? I'm a bit fed up, yeah. Yeah, I guess we were both a bit sick of things breaking all the time. It, after a while, it does actually become quite demoralising. So we had a quick return to Palma Nova um, to restock on food really, because there's a couple of good supermarkets there. But um, yeah, the kids found a local school. The kids have all started school now and um, they were quite fascinated. Um, yeah, we, I suppose we're kind of aware that they haven't really played with kids for a while now and probably missing that side of life. I mean, it is quite hard when you're traveling, you've got to work quite hard at meeting up with people and finding out where other families are. So you can go for quite long stretches of time without seeing other kids but um yeah we weren't sure about the winter and where we we're going to be but we did think that maybe going to Spanish school might be an option so at least the kids would have company and be able to socialize. We're just leaving Mallorca and we're going to Ibiza and then we're going to the mainland. It's Monday morning and it's a 4.30 start there's a lot of thunderstorms coming through at the moment which is not good news um, and so there is a bit of a weather window today to get across even though there's not much wind so yeah it should take the, the whole day we should be there later on tonight um, unless the wind picks up a bit what have you got there it's a cup of tea a cup of yorkshire tea just rounding the tip of palmer bay now which is uh, where all the main uh, cargo vessels and uh, ferries and cruise ships go also we've just lost our autopilot again so we're just having to be a bit extra careful really since we've had the davits put on and we carry the dinghy, the stern light is actually obscured. So we're going to have to get that remounted somewhere where it's uh, visible from the uh, stern of the boat. We're trying to give our engine a rest. 
Yes, yeah, so we pulled out the genera, so we goose ringing to Ibiza. Um, so we're going four knots now, which means we shouldn't arrive at midnight, but maybe at eight o'clock at night instead. So the way that we worked out how to put that pole up, we found all the ropes on the boat, and, um, and then we looked in the brochure. The brochure is from, you know, the year 2000. In the brochure, it shows how the pole is rigged up. So we kind of follow this. This is our instruction manual. Good morning. We're on the passage to Ibiza from Mallorca, and we're doing what we do on any passage. I'm reading this. Uh, the boys are playing. Nighttime or daytime when it's. Um, so you can't go to very shallow areas or your fishing vessel or your towing. It means. Um, it means. Uh, I can't see. Antonio waiting to go across the mainland. Over winter we'll be you know in Spain so we're quite looking forward to exploring that country and um, you know, learn the language a bit. We're gonna cross the mainland and then head down to Almirama um, and hop along it's about 200 miles or so. So yesterday um, we had another of our um, dramas leaving the dock. We were stern to on a kind of finger pontoon and as we were leaving, the dinghy got caught on the cleat and um, we managed to completely rip the sponsor of our dinghy, as you can see. It was a complete lack of communication from both of us and um, it ended in this, but I sometimes I feel like we just get more than our fair share of disasters. That's how it feels anyway at the moment. Um, so now we're kind of anchoring out and having a dinghy to get to shore. That's a practical problem. Luckily, the engine was okay, uh, but this is probably a bit of a write-off, really. So even though like we're both really qualified, we just seem to cock things up sometimes. I feel like we're living our life by what is the next thing that's going to go wrong, <laughs> and I don't think that's a good way to um, do this thing and live the dream. <laughs> it's raining now. <laughs> Yeah, when we get to Miramar, which is where we're going to stop for a bit and sort loads more problems out, we'll look into a new dinghy so we can find one somewhere, maybe second hand, maybe get a new one, maybe someone will sponsor us. Uh, we need it now. <laughs> yeah, we've still got big jobs to do. We've got the solar arch, you know, the solar panels to go on. We've got some rigging to change and um, we've got sails to replace. We have so much maintenance to do and we're also going to do lots of vlogs about things and go wrong. So hopefully you can all look at those and learn from our experiences. 
<laughs> I don't, I feel like I'm in the martyr at the moment. But I know that's probably wrong. I know that everyone else and everyone watching, you've probably all experienced all the same things. Um, but we just happen to be videoing it. <laughs> I would say to people, if you go on a flotilla holiday, that your learning curve will be huge because you'll be on your own boat dealing with a lot of stuff. But to be quite honest, I think if you go cruising for a year, then your learning curve is maybe even bigger. Now, there's loads of blogs I want to do. I want to do blogs on homeschooling, on um, safety on boats, budgeting as well. Budgeting's a big thing, especially when you've got things going wrong and you're buying things. You need to be really careful with your budget and I want to do a whole thing on that. If anyone's got any blogs that they'd like us to do, we, I can't promise you when it'll happen, but we will try and do them because I know there's a lot of people that are just about to do this and um, we'll try and do them, you know, because they're all relevant. And the more people out here makes the community bigger. And um, right now we think we need a bit of a community. Yeah. There's always a few weeks between our blogs. Um, that's because we're trying to make them look good for you and um, you know, trying to get the editing right so it's a you know interesting thing to watch. You can't please everyone, but um, yeah, hopefully they're kind of um, quite interesting and absorbing. So yeah, this is the end of our summer season, and um, yeah, there's there's loads of subject matter we're going to cover over winter. Notice um, one of my two full lab um, Where? What? Let's see. We're out for a walk in Palmer and uh, we just There's had a good a look around. What? There's a tiny dog. Take two. So, this is morning exercise routine. And um, what a backdrop, hey? It's a cathedral. A festival of Del Rey de Juame. The first. <laughs> Festival del Rey de Juame, the first. Shit that booty. Shit that booty. Shit that booty. Shit that booty. Oh my god! That's disgusting! You and me, we're family. No matter how far away we've grown to be. We travel on to unknown destinies, but you and me will still be family. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, keep watching, keep sharing. Thanks to the patrons for making these videos possible. Anyone could become a patron. Um, if you've got a dinghy, we need it. AIS transponder, that's broken down. Uh, autopilot, uh, microwave's broken down, depth sounders, washing machine, I'm sick of repairing the leak, wind indicator, a new bike, because I'm also sick of repairing them as well. Roller panels, we haven't got them yet. A fridge, preferably one of the drawers. A whole set of new batteries. Just message me, I'll send you a list. Never know, I might even need a new husband soon if there's any more maintenance jobs, because the current one's kind of cracking up with all the jobs. Yeah, that's it really. See you on the next vlog. Thank you. And if you want to do it, do it. Oh